I'm Allie Casorla, and I'm here with Rowena Finn, and she's going to be teaching classes. We're very lucky that she's coming to teach classes this summer, July and August, at the Virginia Beach uh, Art Center in the Vibe District. And uh, Ro, I know you've got a number of live Zoom art classes coming up in July and August. Can you tell us what you'll be doing? And just before you do that, I just want to let people know that they can go to artcentervb.org to see the exact times and dates of these classes that you're giving over the summer. Um, so you've got, uh, the, one of the things you're doing is color theory one and two in watercolor. Yep. Okay, so um, one of the things that I realized when I got back into art and seriously started trying to do this full time was that um, I didn't know enough about color. and. You know, I would get really frustrated because things wouldn't turn out the way that I wanted. And so, you know, I did some research and I took a couple of classes and I learned a lot about the structure of color and now I'm, I'm obsessed with it because it's just the more you know, the easier it is to uh, get the colors that you want. So, color theory one, um, we, it's, you're not really painting anything. You're gonna be making a lot of color charts, but I'm gonna be explaining why these charts are so important and how you can use them and always just have them on hand so that whatever you're painting, it makes it a lot faster for you to be able to make the colors you want. And the nice thing about it is that, you know, watercolors are, um, you don't have to use a lot. So you can have a small set of watercolors and they go a long way. Um, most of the time I'm only using about five to seven colors. Um, I teach uh, a method called the split palette, the split primary palette, because it's based on two reds, two yellows, and two blues. And with that, you can make almost any color that you need. So that's what we do in, in the level one. Okay, and then you have a, a two. Also. Yeah, yeah. So level two is new. I've been wanting to teach this for a while and trying to figure out, you know, where do we go from there. So with level two, we're gonna take everything that you learned from the level one class. So definitely sign up for that one first, because um, I'm not gonna go over that stuff in the second level. Um, but in level two, we're gonna start to get into more complex colors like skin tones. And um, for landscape people, we're gonna talk about different kinds of green, because greens and skin tones are probably the two things painters struggle with the most. Those are tough. <laughs> yeah, and the nice thing is even though we're working in watercolor, it's easy enough to take this information and use it in, you know, oil or acrylic painting too. Okay. Yeah. And now you're also going to be doing um, a number of classes that are problem solving in drawings and paintings. How's that going to work? Um, problem solving and drawing is it's going to be a different kind of class. It's a one-time session. You can sign up as many times as you like. If there's a project that you're working on, whether it's painting or drawing, and something's just not right, then you can sign up for the class. There'll be a small number of us together. We'll share our work, and this is only an online class because I will use my computer screen to show each person's work and my um, photo editing program to show um, how to make the corrections that you need. Um, show you things like where's, you know, where are the issues in your composition, in your proportions, and in your values. Um, I have a picture that I just showed you today. <laughs> I need analyzing. So I will sign up for one of those classes. Great. Um, and then lastly, you have um, a class in watercolor techniques and tools. And I'm struggling with watercolor right now. And yes. I think it's because I don't have any groundwork, any any basics down. You know, I know about wet on wet and dry and, and all these different things, but I've never had anybody explain what that really means to okay. me. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, one of my favorite things about teaching is that I've noticed a lot of people will dive into artwork and not understand how things work because nobody explained it to them and I'm speaking from experience because I remember I, I have a BFA um, in art, in fine art, and talking with a friend of mine where we both graduated from the same university, we realized, you know, nobody in our art department ever said this is this kind of brush, 
this is how you hold it, this is how you use it. Like, no one explained that. Wow, you would think that's exactly what they would do. <laughs> so this has kind of become my big focus. This is why I teach so many foundational things. So watercolor techniques and tools is gonna to be about understanding how to use all of those techniques, get to play with your paints, and you really have to just let yourself waste some paper and play with your paints. Uh, so we'll play with things like you were talking about, dry brush, wet on wet, um, we're also going to play with some other stuff like um, it's really fun to use alcohol, like rubbing alcohol in paints and then just other different techniques like spattering, how to do that. Um, one of my favorite things to do is make little galaxies. They're just a lot of fun, which is a really good practice uh, for using your paint thickly because a lot of times you don't do that with watercolor, right, right. but galaxies are a great way to do that. Um, I wanted to show some of your work. Okay. So we've got... A beautiful this is in graphite uh, yeah that's graphite the lettering is in pen okay. um, but that is a photo that a friend of mine took and mm -hmm. um, I really enjoyed drawing that and that's a blue jay correct? it is a blue jay and it's yeah. such a perfect blue jay in black and white <laughs> you know who would have thought really and this is and I always forget the name of it because you do have a name it's a long name it's called on the brink of becoming acquainted it's from a quote from Frankenstein but the plant is called a common mullen uh-huh and that's watercolor. Oh yeah. And this one best in show yes. in the Garden, Garden of, of Life, Life exhibit here. I was here. so excited. Uh, it's a it's an amazing. It jumps out at you in person. It's just amazing. Thank you. And this gold leaf? Yes, that one's gold leaf. That's my apple blossoms. That one um won an award of merit uh, at the Was it Charleston? Chesapeake right? Bay Watercolorist. Okay. Yes. Wow. Really, we're in Constance Fahey's studio, so I don't want you to think that <laughs> Ro did all these beautiful waves. I'm sure she can, but she didn't. <laughs> um. Um, how do you pick what you paint? Um, that's a good question. I take a lot of reference photos. Um, I try not to use photos on the internet uh, unless I can get permission, of course. Um, but I really do try to take, I am not a photographer, but I try to take my own reference pictures as much as possible. A lot of times, um, these two things were from my own yard. Um, I really like just finding things as they are. I like doing botanicals um, because they're just, they're infinitely interesting to me. And you know, one thing I, I feel strongly is that I'll, I'll sit with my photos for a long time and, and look at them and study them and try to figure out if I really, really feel passionately about them because if I don't, then I'll, I'll put it aside because if, I, if I'm not super passionate about something, it'll probably end up in the unfinished pile and we all have big unfinished piles. So <laughs> How long did it take you to do the, uh, oh, the mullet? I, I know a long time. This took like a whole summer, but Part of that is because my studio at the time wasn't at my house, so mm -hmm. I had to drive out there, and I have three little kids, um, and so it was really hard to juggle the time. Sometimes I would literally get to my studio and only be able to paint for like an hour, and then I'd have to turn around and come back home. Um, but the so, nice thing is, I mean, I have another work in progress now, and that one's moving a lot faster because now my studio is at home. <laughs> ah, do you have a name for it, or? Uh, yeah, I can show it to you. I brought it. Okay. Um, this is an, only my second large watercolor. Um, it's called Sisters. Um, so this one, it's gonna go like this. Uh -huh. And I know you probably can't really see it, but there's, just like this one has the silver border, this one has a border around here that's gonna be in gold. Gotcha. And again, some of the flowers are, are poking out. And again, this is a photo uh, that I took, my, my reference photo is from my own yard. Uh -huh. So. And what type of flower is that? They are mini mums. Mini mums? Yeah, they're like the kind that you can get at Home Depot or Walmart. Okay. They only get about that big. Um, but, uh, yeah. Is I that just, middle one finished? Is that a. This one's not. No, these, yeah, these two, two are finished. finished. Yeah. yeah, and so I started working on this one, and, and of course, you know, with kids, <laughs> I have not been able to touch it for a couple of weeks, so I'm hoping, hoping to hurry up and get this one done. All right, well, we're coming in on 10 minutes, and uh, 
But th Rowena Finn is a wonder woman in my eyes. She does so Thank much. You. She teaches at the governor's school. She's won awards. She's 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 got something to do every minute of the day, and we are lucky to have her come and instruct with us at the uh, Virginia Beach Art Center. And this is such a great location, and yeah. the people are awesome, and the artwork is awesome. Thank you. I'm glad to be a part of it. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Rose. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.